So. 10 players is sending this one out to Naja. Who wants our views on Andre Ward being a no-show at the Sergey Ward media gathering? Yeah. And where'd you get that info? Because we've heard nothing of Andre Ward being a no-show. Like if you went to the bathroom to take a shit and your neighbor wasn't there. Would that make them a no-show? Especially if they made it clear they wouldn't be there to watch you shit in. We're just saying. Because we have no idea what sick shit fans might be in a. We certainly know Kathy Duva's sick. Inner fucking diva head. How many times have we said listen to every fucking word? So let's take a listen. Real broadcast and everything that led up to it, that there was an agreement. We saw them in the ring together. You felt as though you had a deal. What came up, let's say, from Saturday night, and you fast forward 72 hours? Well, it started last week when they let us know uh, after weeks of planning this press conference that Andre Ward wouldn't, wouldn't come. Then it continued through Saturday afternoon when they informed us uh, hours before we were supposed to announce that the fight's happening at the M at the uh, T-Mobile. Did you listen? Well, it started last week when they let us know uh, after weeks of planning this press conference that Andre Ward wouldn't, wouldn't come. So that means they knew Andre Ward wouldn't be at this gathering. For those who don't listen. Then it continued through Saturday afternoon when they informed us. And it continued through Saturday afternoon. She said continued. That means she was notified Ward couldn't make it before Saturday afternoon. Before he even fucking fought his last fight. And if that ain't deceptively bitchy. Then what the fuck is? And when we say listen carefully to every fucking word. We mean all the deceptive manipulation as well. The tones, the stutters, the terminology and every fucking thing that goes with it. Well, it started last week when they let us know uh, after weeks of planning this press conference that Andre Ward wouldn't wouldn't come, wouldn't wouldn't come, Ward wouldn't wouldn't come. Hear that shit? The little stutter at the end. Is Kathy clearly knowing she's bullshitting, knowing she's in the wrong, while trying to make Ward out to be some bad guy trying to spoil the fight? She's attempting to manipulate fans on a conscious and subliminal level. She's even choosing words to intentionally manipulate the subconscious mind. You see, there's a big difference between saying Andre Ward wouldn't come, and Andre Ward wouldn't be able to make it. Wouldn't come makes it seem like Andre Ward's some kind of fucking brat child that's disrespecting the fans while their loyal fighter Sergey showed up. All to sway public perception in their favor. While all along they knew Ward had other obligations because Ward respectfully informed them. But telling the truth and informing the fans Ward notified them long ahead of time that he wouldn't be able to make it. Shows respect on Ward's part and simply says he had other obligations. Which main events purposely didn't tell the fans. We've got no idea what Ward's obligations were. He could have had deals with someone else. Who the fuck knows? Because we could give two shits if it was for no reason other than a look in his wife's eyes and play with his fucking kids. Kathy Duva pulled out an out bullshit purposely done to manipulate perception. And if anyone should be getting dogged out by the fans it should fucking be Kathy Duva. If anyone fucked the fans it was Kathy Duva. She knew well ahead of time Ward wouldn't be able to make that date. And she held it anyway knowing damn well fans wanted to see Sergey and Ward together. The true no-show was Kathy Duva's honesty to the fans. She knew fans would arrive to see both fighters and purposely misled him. Then made believe Ward ditched the fans. And who the fuck held this event? Was it mutual? Or did one arrogant party play big boss like they own Ward's side rather than mutually coming to an agreement the way shit's supposed to be? We'll have to look into that. Though we're pretty sure what the answer is. But we like being certain before we speak on shit. But as it stands. We trust not a fucking thing that comes out of Duva's mouth. And she owes quite a few fans money. Because people spent fair to get their believing word would be at it and Kathy clearly knew and didn't tell. The word we got so far's main events pulled this not rock nation. But we'll look into this and see. Because her terminology means nothing to us at this point. Claiming weeks of planning. Who's fucking planning? Mutual planning or a independent planning making believe it was mutual and the other side's fucking shit up. To make herself look good. Then Sergey joins in saying where's Andre Ward? I'm really disappointed because we're doing this for the fans. But I hope he comes to the ring. What a load of bullshit. Either Kathy didn't notify Sergey of the truth. Or he's a fucking liar. A cheater outside the ring. Which equates to one in the ring as well. Because corresponding characteristics are carried everywhere. It's a fucking law of nature. 
so we hope Sergei was lied to by Kathy Duva and had no clue. Which we seriously doubt. But we shall fucking see. Now if Ward pulls out of this fight, we'll be the first to call bullshit. But as of now, this is a no story when it comes to Ward. Duva on the other hand's the one fans need a question. Not Ward. Ward and Sergei got in the ring together. People fucking know. The only concern now's Aram in the pack versus Vargas date possibly conflicting with this fight. Now. We're gonna make this clear. And this is not for the people with brains. Only the idiots. Because we know there's a lot of dumb motherfuckers in the world. So listen carefully. If you ask a friend if they can meet you somewhere next week. Any fucking where. The park. The movies. The mall. A party. Or even down the street on the corner of the very block you live. And your friend says. Sorry. I can't make it on that day. You don't go to that park movie mall party or street corner a week later throwing a hissy fit wondering why your friend's not there. Nor do you contact the media telling them your friend didn't show up. And you don't know why. Unless you're fucking retarded. That fucking simple. And until our next one. Peace. We're out.